Okay, you guys, so I have a bit of a shopping haul for you. It is 88 in Maine today, and I had a lovely mom who took me to the store to do my grocery shopping. I was very, very thankful. Um, I got some chocolate chip muffins. Uh, I'm gonna call this a lazy haul because I got things I didn't have to like turn on my oven for or cook. Um, I got my water. Um, I've already put some of it away, so I'm going to get it out and show you guys. I got eggs, and I got two kinds of eggs. I got, like, some just regular Hannaford brown eggs. I um, might make some French toast. I got these, if I can grab them. I feel like they should endorse me on these because I show these every single time. Like, that would be my dream endorsement right now because these things are delicious. They are cage-free eggs, and they're yummy. Uh, then I got all the stuff for chicken Caesar wraps to make those. I have uh, chicken. I have some lettuce. Um, I got bacon that was already cooked. I was excited about that. I don't. I don't want to turn on my oven. I am not cooking bacon, but I love the taste. So <laughs> I got some watermelon. They're a good, healthy snack. Um, I got a few smoothies. I got this one, which is apparently Dutch chocolate banana. Usually I make fresh smoothies today. I, I know I'm going to be lazy in the next few days because I, I used to tolerate the heat really well. The funny thing is I went to Texas as a kid and I wore my hoodie and they're like, you're from Maine. How are you wearing a hoodie in this like heat? You're used to the cold. And I was like, oh, this feels great. Um, but as I've gotten older, I don't have that heat tolerance. I'll be very honest. It's a hot day, and I'm like, I don't want to do nothing. I don't want to make a smoothie. I just, I'm like sweating to death, and I'm like, I'm done. So, things have changed. And then I got a strawberry banana smoothie. Um, I love usually making them my own because I can throw frozen, fresh, canned, any kind of fruit that I feel like. I could throw applesauce, uh seed like black seeds I could throw apple juice like I could just toss whatever I feel like into those things and I have like more control and sometimes I get some interesting taste depending on what I use um I got some orange juice this has the pulp when I was younger I didn't like the pulp in orange juice and I don't think I'm the only one that was like that but I've started to like it as I've gotten older I got some apple juice because I am a juice person I enjoy that um, I did get some pears. Uh, fresh pears might be healthier, but I eat fresh fruit as it is, and sometimes I want the convenience of just taking the cup out. And either way, it's fruit. I'm getting fruit. I'm like, I'm that person. I feel like this is somewhat minimally processed compared to if I got more chips. Like, I try to balance some things out, you know? I did get some applesauce. I like those um, for a quick, easy snack. I got this uh, tuna sandwich. It's pre-made. I can throw some lettuce with that or whatever. That'll be good. I got these Oi by YoPlay yogurts. Now, YoPlay sells covers to these separately, um, which is cool. You can buy other brands of covers that fit these. The containers, they're glass, and they're actually art projects on Pinterest that you can do with them. Um, as you can use them like as a pot to start like a plant in to, to plant some plants um, you can like use them for art storage buttons so I'm gonna keep this glass jar after I'm like washing it I, I thought that was kind of cool to find that out because I didn't realize that and I've been throwing those away and I was like well that was a waste <laughs> um, then I got these snack packs Hannaford makes them up they're like a nice balanced I have a little bit of each. Like I have grapes, orange, and a granola bar in this one. And the other one that I grabbed, it's hard-boiled eggs, grapes, and some nuts. Uh, clearly, uh, I don't know if you can tell, I am an egg person. I like eggs. I'm very much coming to this conclusion because I like got brown eggs. Like half of what I've shown you so far is eggs and I yogurt. I've gotten some good yogurt uh, I got gotta find it now oh I got Chobani flip yogurts they're a little like more on the sugary side well these ones might be I'm not entirely sure it says non-gmo ingredients which I didn't know that's interesting 
uh, but it's strawberry cheesecake. It's going to somewhat satisfy my sweet tooth. And we got banana, uh, not banana, we have peanut butter cup. So I feel like I'm getting something really sweet, but I'm getting some yogurt too. Yogurt's good for you, I think. I don't know, I like yogurt. I feel like that's that's not like a bad, bad snack. So I got my pears that I showed you guys. Um, I did get some candy corn, which I don't eat a lot of candy or sweets anymore. I went sweeter with this haul for some reason. But I got candy corn to split with my mom. But I don't eat candy corn often, but I was like, yeah, I'll split some with you, mom. Got it Got it to keep here so, to get my mom over. I'm going to bribe her to come over with candy corn. Um, that definitely needs to be washed. I'm going to set that aside. We're going to ignore that picture because that's been in there a while. So I showed you guys the apple juice and everything. Um, I got these... Ego strawberry waffles. I like those for a midnight snack or quick in the morning kind of deal because I like to always make sure I eat at least a good three meals and some snacks because I just I burn things easily, I think. I think someday I'll be grateful for that. Like, I just, I'm that kind of person. I got these blueberries. Um, breakfast bars. I love these. I love these. I love anything with berries though, to be honest. I got some soft baked mixed berries one. I feel like a lot of what I have has some sort of berry in it or chocolate today. I got peanut butter. Um, we have some dark chocolate cookies. That was to satisfy my sweet tooth. I had a lot of veggies and like meal stuff already. So I went more breakfasty and snack and stuff that once again, I didn't have to cook. Um, I got these donuts. Uh, I thought about going for like a chocolate sugary one and then I'm like, you got candy corn, you got like these raspberry pup tar tarts and I try to be balanced somewhat. So I was like, maybe you don't need to be throwing in some chocolate powdered donuts as lovely as those would be. Maybe, maybe use some self control here, Brittany. That's, that was kind of how that went. <laughs> Um, I got these wraps for my Caesar wraps. I got just some plain white bread. I can have peanut butter toast. I can have sandwiches because I have this turkey. Whenever my grandmother makes a turkey, she gives me these, I'm not even sure what they are, uh, but they're like vacuum sealed and she writes the date for when the turkey's gonna go bad. So she always sends me some turkey. She's sweet like that. Uh, they didn't have my non-GMO Indiana popcorn that I love at Hannaford, but they had this cookie pop popcorn and it's Oreo flavored, and I was beyond curious what that's going to taste like. So I was like, yeah, I'll try that. Just throw that in my cart. Um, I also got some frosted flakes because I don't have to cook them, just milk and cereal. And then I got this, it's gluten-free blueberry Chex Mix. And once again, I love blueberries. And I was like, I'll give it a try. My mom said it tastes delicious. And I hadn't had it before, so I'm thinking I'll like it. I did get jellied cranberry sauce. Like I said, I got way too many like canned veggies and frozen veggies and all of that stuff that needs to be cooked. But it's been hot here in Maine and it's it's not happening. Um, I also got some bananas, which you will see right here. Um, and I did want to let everyone know, I've been thinking since my YouTube is a very much a variety channel with something for everyone, I've been giving this a lot of thought. And I'm gonna keep your regular content on here. Like we'll be doing shopping hauls, life vlogs, Legos, toy reviews, gaming, um, trying to think what else in the normal stuff I do car shows and kind of that variety of stuff um, but I'm thinking about doing some kids content too for like little kids so there's something for everyone because I know I had somebody tell me that they've had to isolate a lot in London because COVID's rampant and uh, I I know it and I know people that have like two-year-olds that don't go to daycare and I'm like they need something to watch and I I don't know, I thought it would be cool. Like we could do like some kids story time, read some books 
and do some of that since I already do some toy reviews. So you might see some of that content up within the next few days because I want to venture into that a little and dip my toes in and give it a try. It sounds fun to me. And I've been told I have a very childish personality in a good way. The person meant it as a compliment. They're like, you're just, you're very approachable because you're just, you have that like kind childlike personality. And I was like, oh, that's really sweet. And they were like, you should totally go into making some kids content. And I, when I was talking to them about them and I am very much going to, and I hope you guys that have, might have kids or have younger siblings will enjoy that as well. And um, on that note, I hope everyone's going to have a spectacular day. Bye, everyone.